Aim training doesn't work. At least not for all of you. After struggling with this issue for an embarrassing amount of time, I finally came up with my own theory as to why this happens. It would also explain why confidence is one of the most important attributes to have in a game like Valorant and even why you can go 40 and 12 one match only to go 0 and 20 in the next. I want to be clear, aim training helps tremendously with mouse control and your hand-eye coordination, both of which are beneficial in any first-person shooter. Personally, I've aim trained more than I'd like to admit, and even though it's helped me a lot, I still have moments where I can't land the easiest shots you could imagine. I'm Zapper, your favorite Immortal 3 Yapper, and I think the reason this happens is because of pressure. An aim trainer could never replicate the pressure you feel in ranked. If you miss a shot, maybe two, or maybe even a bunch in a row, you will receive little to no punishment. Most players just instantly restart their runs if they miss a few shots in the beginning, myself included. What about Valorant? Missing a single shot not only puts you out of commission for up to two minutes, but it can even lose you rounds and, in the worst case, entire games. That's a massive amount of pressure riding on a single shot in a game where first bullet accuracy often isn't even at 100%. Imagine you miss that first shot, feel terrible, spawn in the next round with no money, forced by a sheriff, and once you finally get another gunfight, you miss yet again. You only miss two shots and now you're down two entire rounds. How often do you miss two shots in a name trainer and completely forget about it three seconds later? Okay. Obviously, there's a difference in pressure between Valorant and aim training. It's like you're in scuba gear and sink a little deeper into the ocean. But what does this mean for us? And what about our confidence? Maybe you are even experiencing the same problem and want a solution. While I don't have a surefire answer, there is one thing that I've been doing recently that seems to be working so far. Like I mentioned earlier in Valorant, ranked especially, there's a lot more riding on the line for each shot you take. Because of this, when you do in fact miss, which is inevitable, even pros miss shots, you experience the consequences. No one wants those consequences and so many players will try their hardest to avoid them entirely. The real issue here isn't one's hand-eye coordination, it's actually more to do with acceptance. In essence, you're trying to control the outcome of a gunfight, a round, or maybe even the entire match. But when things don't go your way, you take a hit to your confidence. Now, the next time you get into a gunfight, the pressure is more likely to get to you, increasing your chances of missing your shots. It's a nasty cycle that destroys confidence and often results in self-doubt, leaving you with that feeling of not being able to land any shots. Now you're playing more scared, you're more likely to miss if you do make a good play, and it's really just not a fun mental state to be in. Recently, what I've been doing to counteract this issue is acceptance. The reality is that the outcome of any given situation is never entirely in your control. And if you fight that fact, you can very quickly destroy your confidence. If on the other hand, you accept the difficulties and challenges, you can work through these issues and actually improve as a player without spiraling out of control and losing 20 games in a row. Acceptance might seem like a weird solution for some of you. I'm sure most haven't even considered it. So I'll try to break it down for you in a way that makes it easy to apply to your games as well. Firstly, it's important to realize that accepting a fact, such as missing your shots, doesn't imply that you're just going to stay the way you are forever. Instead, acceptance is a dynamic state that allows you to strengthen your foundations, ultimately giving your confidence more stability. If you're anything like me, it might seem a little confusing or intimidating to get started with acceptance. So to give you a better idea, I'm just going to explain how I've been going about it. When I'm feeling some sort of resistance, whether it's self-criticism, comparison to others, unwanted emotions, or even just your current circumstance, maybe like you're annoyed that you have to work in 30 minutes and you wanted to play another game, but you don't have time now, I use it as an opportunity for acceptance. That was the general framework I had going into things at least, but things get a little more specific when you begin playing ranked. When I used to miss shots, I would get frustrated and often think something along the lines of, I'm so bad, or how did I miss that? Now, I try to think more on the lines of, I missed a shot, and that's okay. Or maybe you're mid-game and things are going really downhill. Instead of getting annoyed that you aren't good enough, it's okay to think along the lines of, we might lose this game, and that's fine. 
This was a big one for me because I hate losing and it's hard for me to accept a loss. However, when I do get too caught up in a losing game that I had no chance in winning in the first place, it often puts me in a really bad spot mentally. Acceptance goes a long way, but what works even better is sprinkling in little self-compliments. You have acceptance to reduce self-induced pressure, and you have self-compliments to build up your confidence. Got a kill? Boom. Perfect chance to compliment yourself. Land a nice shot? Compliment. The name of the game is giving genuine compliments to yourself when you do things that you genuinely consider good. Just making things up is pointless and will often give you the opposite effect of what you want. With these tools, you now have what it takes to master your mental, increase your confidence, reduce ranked anxiety, skyrocket your progress, and all that's left is for you to get out there and show the haters who's daddy.